Okay, so we've got to put this in, so we've got to, we, okay, so we need to fill in the blanks here. Um, a couple pieces of advice again, so we already talked about this one, so, so t squared like this won't work, t, I would call that up caret 2, uh, we won't work. Another piece of advice is don't use vx or vy uh, for the velocities there, um, which is fine. Um, and then also be careful, uh, be careful because g is initially zero. So I'm going to do it the wrong way. And I'm going to show you why it doesn't work, and then I'll show you the right way because that's more fun. All right, so here we go. So we talked about how this is v zero x times time. Um, so you notice that in line 68 here, it has we define the time here. Um, so we're doing a for loop, so all the different possible times in the future um, would be like this, right? So this is our time variable. So instead of having a counter, we're actually sort of saying, like, here's what would happen. Um, so we have something like that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and sabotage this. I'm going to set that equal to vx times t. And the same thing over here. I'm going to set this to uh, vy times t, which again is wrong plus one-half gt squared, so 0 0.5 times g times, I'm actually going to do this right, so t times t. So that's the only thing I did right there. So let me show you why this doesn't work so well. Okay. So, all right, so here we go. So I press play. Now, you're supposed to see a trajectory now. I don't know if you look closely enough, you see this little dot there? That's supposed to be the trajectory, but it's not working so great. And then if I press spacebar, you kind of see it for a second there, and then it like moves or something. Um, I can play it again. Make, give this a little bit more of a kick, like that. There we go. So there's kind of a trajectory there, but it doesn't really match, and it like moves and stuff. The trajectory should not move at all, right? Because we're anticipating where the bird's going to go. When the bird is launched, we just have to watch it to see if it goes in that direction. So it really shouldn't be changing with time. And the reason it was changing with time is because Vx and Vy are changing with time. So this really needs to be the initial x velocity and the initial y velocity. So this, so this looks slightly better if we do that. So now you have this weird line here, which on some level is an improvement, right? So now if I hit spacebar like this. So that sort of follows it, right? So I can do this. Do something like that. There we go. So that sort of follows that line, kind of. Let me see here. Do it like that. Yeah. Sort of follows it, but it, wouldn't it be nice if, uh, wouldn't it be nice if it just showed this curvy line from the beginning? Well, there's a really stupid, easy way to get that, which is that instead of having g here, just write negative 9.8, right? Because initially g is 0, which is why these things turn out to be straight lines, right? And it's only when you hit space bar does g become anything other than 0. Uh, and so if I just take this thing and I, and I just write negative 9.8, then it should just, it should just work. Okay, so there you go. So now it's all curvy from the beginning, and I can do something like this, like that. And there we go. It actually matches up pretty well. So there you go. We did it. So this, this last thing with the negative 9.8, this is just another one of those silly, like, math world, computer world things that you just have to bear in mind. Um, again, the understanding the difference between math world and computer world is not that hard of a skill. It's just sort of trying to think about, like, what are my variables doing? Are my variables changing? would be the simplest way of doing this. So, so there you go. Um, so it's, it's pretty much working now. Um, the last thing to, to do would be to configure the code so spacebar only works the first time. And I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's a challenge. Um, but I will show you the problem that it solves, which is that, so now we have this thing that works. Let me drag it over here. Maybe I'll move the laptop over this way or something. Um, 
So now we have this thing that works. Um, but there's a problem that you may not notice unless you, unless you like press the space bar for too long. So, so when I tap the space bar, it's fine. It looks pretty good. But when I uh, hold the space bar down too long, then, uh, ready? This happens. So I way overshoot the trajectory. And the reason I overshoot is because the more I press the space bar, the more that it sets these velocities equal to these initial velocities, instead of just letting gravity do its thing, right? So I just keep holding on to this thing. I mean, it'll just keep on going. If I never let go of the space bar, it just keeps on climbing and climbing and climbing. So uh, we need to just, if only for the sake of trying to make, trying to check to see what this, how close this thing is to the trajectory. Like I can try to tap this thing as lightly as I can. Um, it'd be nice to be able to uh, configure the code to be able to do that. Um, so there's various ways of doing it and modifying these if statements and adding in a variable to see if the space bar has already been pressed. Like there's, there's a couple different ways of doing it. There's no one right way to do it. If you can get it, and so you can, so that, so that uh, for example, if you go back here, so in this game, which I'm not going to show you the source code for, uh, I can press the space bar as many times as I want and it doesn't do anything, except for the first time. Right? The first time it actually launches it, and then after that it just ignores it. Um, so you want your code to behave like this, to be able to hit space bar as many times as you want. Okay? So that's the challenge, and uh, again, trying to keep this relatively simple. So if you can get this part, then you're doing pretty good. Um, but that's, that about covers it for that activity, and I hope you, hope you had a good time.